Good evening, friends, and you are watching Weekend at Five with me, Navdeep Kormar. Today we have a special guest in our show. We have Mr. Fali Mystery of Mazda Financial Services to talk to about the importance of insurance, and especially in the pandemic time when we are in, living in a global pandemic, there's even more need to have the right insurance for you. So we speak to him to tell us what are the things that you should know when you're looking for insurance. Welcome to the show, sir. Yeah, thank you for having me, Navdeep. Yes. Let's begin. Yes. How was the Navroz, sir? Uh, my Navroz was good. We was, it was with the family and we could go out because there were a few, uh, there were not much restrictions. We had 10 of us, two families, and we went to a restaurant. That's what we used. Right. So, sir, as I spoke about COVID and the restrictions, so tell me when it yeah. comes to special health insurance, what are the things that people should keep in mind when they're looking to buy insurance? See, when people are going and looking to buy health insurance, first of all, they should do a very comprehensive research. A lot of people get carried away by premiums, you know, from corporate, they get very cheap premiums. But when there are no free lunches in this world, it's what you pay, you get. Right. So they generally sign up very quickly into the corporate medical insurance. And then they find that a lot of things are not covered when they try to claim. Right. But by the time they have suffered a medical condition due to which they can't change their policy because right. it would become a pre-existing condition for a new insurer. Mm -hmm. So what my suggestion is that when people are looking for medical insurance, it's not like you take a, take a shirt today and you wear it and you remove it and take it tomorrow and wear another one. Right. You, have to, you have to do a very comprehensive research. What's good for you? What, will, uh, what that product will do for you? And because medical insurance is one thing that the person will, will cancel at the last. Till he lives, he'll keep it. And he'll need it more in his old age. Right. Than in right. his young age. Right. So it is also not advisable to keep changing your medical cover every now and then. Right. And especially tell me, in your experience, due to COVID, have you seen an increase in people going for medical insurance? Has that impacted that? Okay, let me clarify one thing. Medical insurance here in New Zealand complements the public health system. The right. COVID condition is an acute condition. Right. So it's anyway covered in the public health. So anybody from, from rich to poor are on the COVID covered by, you know, the public health system. So medical insurance will not help you anyway in that. Right. Like, but people are, are people more, uh, you know, worried about their health now, considering the environment and going for insurance generally? Yes, it is important because because New Zealand is a small country and it has, it has uh, medical system has got quite a lot of load. Mm -hmm. So it is, it is very much required. See the statistics is that there are five, 5 million Kiwis here in New Zealand, but only 1.5 million have medical insurance. Right. The reason is the affordability is one part of it. And most of the medical insurance is through the corporate right. where they work. Mm -hmm. But it is important to have it because the more and more if the government supports the medical insurance, more people will take medical insurance. Right. And then there'll be a less load on the public health system. Let's take an example that if you have a kidney stone pain today, a very I small pain. I had, I had stone. Yeah. yeah. So if you are in a public system, system, you will have to wait one year to get the stone out. You will be suffering. You will be put on painkillers because it's an elective surgery. Yeah. If you had a medical insurance, you could just go private and get it out. Right. Right. So this is why it is very, very important, especially I had a, you know, this is a life, a real life case where a client of mine, she suffered from a lung cancer and she was not very old mm -hmm. and uh, they went to do a PET scan, which is the first ultimate test for a cancer. Mm -hmm. And they found that the Vitagri health board had the PET scan machine not working mm -hmm. and they had to wait for two months to get a scan done. Now, had they not had a private medical insurance, they could not do that test. Yeah. And once the test was done, they found that the cancer was growing on other four sites in the body, yeah. in the brain and on the kidneys also. Oh. So, so the early intervention did save a life. Right. And that's why medical insurance is very important. And also, sir, I have one question about premium. A lot of people have actually. That doesn't increase it every year. Like if I take a medical insurance today, and for a certain amount, with a certain premium, and next year, yeah. if I renew it, will I have to pay the same yeah. premium keep increasing? No. 
it definitely it will go up it will become expensive see the medical insurance becoming expensive there are many factors to it mm -hmm. one factor is the age factor yeah. the amount of people claiming secondly medical profession daily comes up with new procedures and these new procedures become more expensive to the medical insurer to pay right so so that is called a medical inflation so so the medical inflation is there in the country so the medical insurer has to take care of the medical inflation as well as the age right. but insurers have kept you know excesses in your policy so mm -hmm. what one should do is if they find the medical insurance going very expensive they should increase the excess rather than changing the provider okay 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 that's this a good is where you can control the premiums Right, 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 right. Okay. And if, if we talk about other options, I also know there's something called trauma insurance. What is the difference between a trauma yeah, insurance trauma insurance. And insurance? Correct. Trauma insurance is many, many of my clients do get confused between the trauma cover and the medical cover. Yeah. Now I'll tell you a very basic big difference. They say if I have a medical insurance, do I need a trauma cover? The mm -hmm. question mark. Mm -hmm. The medical insurance, let's take an example of a cancer. Suppose you get a cancer and you can't work for six months. Where do you get the income paid? You get your income paid through the trauma claim. Oh. If you have 100,000 trauma, it gives you a lump sum 100,000 to take care and take rest. Oh. But the medical insurance money will be paid to the doctor, not to you. Right. Oh. So you will be getting a free treatment. So this is the difference between the medical insurance and the trauma cover. Okay, so would you would you recommend everybody to have both at the same time? Yes, I've got 600 clients and none of my clients who have got medical insurance don't have a trauma or a trauma insurance don't have a medical insurance. Right, right. Because they are very much confused. They say, why do I need this when I have this? Right, that's right. As I have been known yeah. before. That you have yeah. And in fact, if somebody cannot afford a medical insurance because it is costly, the second line of defense is a trauma. Right. Because if something big happens to you, something big happens to you, then basically at least the trauma payout can give you a money to be treated in private. Right, right, right. I mean, I don't think many people would know that there's something called a trauma insurance. All, all people know is there is a medical insurance. Indians, basically Indians ethically who come from India are not aware of trauma cover yeah. because it's called a critical illness cover. It is also there in India with nine conditions. Mm -hmm. But... In New Zealand, it's very popular. Mm -hmm. And uh, the thing is, it is with 60 conditions, much better than India. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, but ethnically and back days, our parents have only relied on medical insurance mm -hmm. and life cover. Yeah. These are the only two things that Indians understand. Mm -hmm. They are very much new to the trauma cover, so they have to make them understand why trauma is needed. Right. And I think many people are still questioning that why should we go for a health insurance? You know, we are fit and healthy. So if what what do you tell your clients when they're deciding? Okay, okay. I will tell you the reason to those. Nobody is bulletproof, first of all. Mm -hmm. They need to understand. Cancer has no age. It can happen to a six year, seven year. Stroke has no age. Mm -hmm. So if people are thinking that I'm young and healthy and why should I spend on medical insurance? It's a wrong notion. Because once you get an issue, the insurer will not take you on. Right. It is it is very important. It is very important that you get insured in time. Mm -hmm. Because then before you get a pre-existing medical condition, if if you are as an if you are as a layman coming to me and asking which insurance do I need first, the first insurance you need is a medical insurance. Mm, right. And it will it will always pay you back all your premiums. Keep in mind. It's a yeah. very cost-effective product. Right. Whatever premiums you pay, you will get multiple folds of it. Mm. So as, as a youngster, nobody is nobody is bulletproof or nobody is this, that I will not get this and I will not get that. Mm -hmm. uh, I, From my claim experience, the youngest claimant on trauma was a 32-year-old guy. Okay. And, okay. and he was a doctor and he got cancer. Oh, right. right. Like that. So... For privacy reasons, I cannot disclose, but then he was very well taken care of. He had all other products also. Yeah. So basically, you're saying that no matter, you can, you can look, you can look, leave other things behind, but don't uh, leave your health behind and do get Yes, correct. Do you know today, many companies in your trauma cover as an adult, they offer 50,000 trauma cover free for the children. Okay. Why are the insurance companies not giving this for the children? I will tell you because.
because if your child is crooked with some say uh, aplastic anemia like a blood cancer or something big the mother and the father won't be able to work for six months right the money is provided basically right right, right. like that right thank you so much mr mystery for your time and i hope these suggestions would help people know more about the insurance and get the right insurance where they need it correct thank so you for having me navdeep nice talking to you same here thank you so uh, much thank bye. you so have much have a lovely day you yeah, too bye